We're getting so many comments and messages from people who did not get an RTX 5080 or a 5090 on launch day. They kind of expected to based on how the 4000 series went. However, this was a vapor launch, not even a paper launch, a vapor launch. I think I stole that from somebody else out there. They're just not really sure what to do. Should they wait around for the 5080 or 5090? When is that going to happen? Should they look at whatever's left of the 4000 series out there? Should they look at the RX 7000 series or should they start considering a card like an RTX 5070 Ti? Welcome back to PC Builder. I'm Jason, take a deep breath. We're going to get through this together. Let's walk through what are our options. We know it's a bad situation now, but when is it going to get better? Of course, if you get value out of this video, give it a like. It makes a huge difference to the channel, especially this guy right here. And of course, subscribe for more cool PC content. Let's jump into this. Okay, so let's take a look at the 40 series, which had a lot more volume at launch. By the way, we were able to get two RTX 4090s at launch. At launch, we didn't try for 4080. We weren't that interested in it, but both of them did sell out on launch day. I took a look on our GPU market update, which we do every single month in terms of when, number one, when was it back in stock at an actual retailer? And number two, when did the cards hit MSRP or when was a, an MSRP model regularly available? For the RTX 4080, it took three months from its launch to come back into stock, and it took four months to get to MSRP. Not terrible, right? The RTX 4090, though, five months to get into stock. And remember, a lot more volume of 4090s than 5090s at launch, and it took seven months to hit MSRP. So based on that, my guess would be the 5080 will hit back in stock in May, and then it'll hit MSRP sometime around June. And the 5090, maybe July back in stock, when you can regularly just go to a retailer and buy it without having to use a stock tracker or something like that, buy it off a scalper. And then September for MSRP. But Wait, there's more. And that more is that right now it's the Chinese Lunar New Year. It's a massive holiday in China. They shut down all the factories and they shut them down sometimes for up to two weeks. Now, the official holiday goes from January 28th until February 4th. So as I'm filming this, it's still part of the official holiday right now. Doesn't mean there weren't GPUs kind of on ships and kind of in the supply chain that were coming. So there is gonna be a supply chain gap. So possibly up to a month of a gap if you think about kind of ramping production and everything. So I'm just saying I wouldn't expect maybe 5090s to be back in so July, maybe August, this sometime this summer. And again, that's if they can produce high volumes of these cards the way they did with the 40 series. I'm not entirely convinced that NVIDIA really wants to do that because some of the silicon, they'd rather be selling it to AI data center because the bottleneck for NVIDIA right now in terms of making more money is they cannot ship enough AI GPUs to market. Now I know the deep seek and uh, stock price crash and all that, there's a lot of uncertainty, but still, I don't think that those orders that they have had in the queue forever and ever are gonna somehow get canceled. People sign contracts for that, and they just have not been able to ship out enough AI GPUs, and that's really what they're all about. Okay, so now that we know when those cards are coming, let's look at our performance chart, and especially with the 5070 Ti and the 5070, which we haven't gotten yet, what cards might you be pursuing? Now, the 4000 series largely sold out. We'll go through their availability in just a moment. Same with the 7000 series, largely sold out at the high end, at least. You can still get like 7800 XTs out there. But let's talk about the RTX 5070 Ti. Where do we expect the performance to come in? I've basically gone through the data and readjusted my initial projections that were based on NVIDIA's slides and game data where they were not using multi-frame generation, but we didn't get the kind of uplift we expected at 1440p. We did it 4K, but not at 1440p. Let's jump into where I think the 5070 Ti is gonna come in right now. Right behind the RTX 4080 Super and slightly above the RTX 4070 Ti Super at 1440p. If we look at the 4K data, it's a little bit more favorable for it, where right? it basically performs similarly to the 4080 Super at 4K and quite a bit faster than the 4070, about 20% faster than the 4070 Ti Super. If we look at the 5070, unfortunately, it doesn't really perform much better than the 4070 Super, even at 4K. And if we look at it at 1440p, it's not a fantastic performer. And it only has 12 gigs of VRAM out there. So I think if you were looking at a 5080 or 5090, obviously 5070 is not on the menu. Then what is? Well, I also put the RX 9070 XT in here. I want to say this is based primarily on leaks from Moore's Law is Dead, benchmarks he released, and then some performance figures that he says that AMD is trying to hit, where in rasterization, they are trying to hit the performance level about 3% above a 4080 Super. So I put it at the 4080 Super. I feel the least confident in these numbers, by the way. I feel way more confident about the 5070 Ti 
5070 performance than I do about what I'm showing you for the 9070 XT. But basically it would perform rasterization about the same as an XTX, obviously in terms of ray tracing and AMD rather is gonna make a huge leap, but I don't expect them to get really that much better than the 4070 Ti Super, which would still be pretty amazing, right? That would be still a huge leap. And then 4K, it'll basically perform like a 4080 Super uh, and probably a 4070 Ti Super when it comes to ray tracing performance. So you can see where those cards are there. So maybe the 9070 XT becomes something that you look at if you want maybe a 5080, but definitely not a 5090. If you do want to wait for the RTX 5070 Ti and try your hand at getting one, of course, check out our How to Beat the Bots video. We go through everything that you need to do in order to have at least a fighting chance to get one. But we do know from video cards, they leak the release date. It's going to be reviews on February 19th and then card release on February 20th. Typically, these launches happen at 9 a.m. Eastern time. If on the other hand, you do want to wait for the 9070 XT, we're not really sure when that card is coming, but Right now, pre-orders at BNH, according to PC Games, are supposed to go live at 9 a.m. on Sunday, March 23rd. We know from pictures of retailers that AMD has quite a bit of stock of the 9070XT and 9070 already at retailers that seems like it was supposed to launch either in January or February, and then just push the big timeout button on there. It was probably a good idea for them. So we do know there's actually probably quite a bit of stock of that GPU out there. It's a pretty decent performer. It's something you could consider and it's not that far away. All right, so what do you do if you want a 40 series car? You're like, okay, Jason, I should have bought one in the fall, but I'm just gonna make up for the mistake. I'll pay whatever it takes. Well, if you want a 4090, they're like $3,300. And honestly, a lot of these are like very kind of scalpery listings. These are third-party listings on Newegg. You'll find them on Amazon. That's really the only 4090s you're going to find left are very kind of scalpery listings like this. 4090 is not really an option. You could look at getting a used 4090 right now. However, I also looked at those. Those are quickly selling on eBay right now, and they're selling for quite a pretty penny. If we look at the 4080 Super, look at those stupid prices for the 4080 Super. I also have the 4080 thrown in here. And most of these listings are not at Newegg, although I'm showing you Newegg, they're third party listings and they ship from China, they ship from Hong Kong. If you look on Amazon, you get basically the same problem. Go to Walmart, go to any US retailer right now, you just cannot find these GPUs. They're completely sold out. What happened is there still was a little bit of stock left, but the 5080s and 5090s sold out. And these two people panic bought these and they paid a, a really, really crazy price. 4070 Ti, same problem. There's nothing in stock. This is this is sold and shipped by Newegg. Literally nothing in stock. And they were trying to, you know, the, the last couple of models here were a uh, thousand bucks. Even if we take off the Newegg thing and we just get it shipped from Hong Kong, which again, to me feels very, very sketch, right? You're talking $1,100 for a 4070 Ti Super. I Maybe you can find one on Amazon or Walmart. I wasn't able to, but it's possible. I went ahead and even looked at the 4070 Super. There's nothing that's being sold and shipped from Newegg. No 4070 Super. And again, you're, you're, you, these are shipping from Canada, basically, and shipping from Hong shipping from outside the US and possibly tariffs. <laughs> I don't even know how that's gonna work. We even look at the RTX 4070, those are all out of stock too. It's just, those have completely sold out. Now we know Nvidia stopped producing the 40 series probably over the summer, if not the fall for some of the lower end models like the 4070, 4070 Super. So it's not shocking that they're all gone at this point. They did, didn't want to make the mistake they made with the 3000 series where they produced them massive numbers because they were selling them to GPU cryptocurrency miners and they got caught holding a lot of those out there and they had to sell them at a big discount. So unfortunately the 40 series is largely gone. What about the 7900 XTX? Well, that's pretty hard to find too. Since AMD put out a release showing that DeepSeek, the, uh, the Chinese AI startup out there, runs really well, in fact, better on its GPUs than it was on Nvidia GPUs, I thought to myself, great. Fantastic, right? That's all we need. Guess what sold out? A completely sold out. 7900 XTXs are gone. Uh, there's still a handful of 7900 XTs out there. I do not expect these to last much longer though. I expect them to, to sell out pretty quickly. Some of these more startup-y kind of AI interests out there just buy these up to use on deep seat kind of stuff. I will say there is still some stock of the uh, 7800 XT. Obviously though, if you're buying wanted to spend a thousand twelve hundred dollars on a 5080 or 
$2,000 on a 5090, this is not a card that's gonna interest you. So really there's not a lot in stock right now and I know it's a little tough. I also think it's a good time to re-emphasize the point I always make, don't wait for unannounced tech. I know so many people were getting mad at me because I was listening like Black Friday and holiday shopping deals for GPUs. People are like, why aren't you telling people to wait? Well, listen, it's easy to tell people to wait for GPUs when you've got one or you're sitting behind a wall of GPUs like this. Hey, just go ahead and wait. I knew this was probably gonna be a sticky situation with the 5080 and the 5090 launch. And I, I just hoping it was gonna be better than this, but this is an absolute disaster. And we knew that 4,000 series stock was drying up. So I'm just gonna tell you again, don't wait for unannounced tech. When there's a good deal out there, like there was a holiday shopping period, like Black Friday, even over Prime Day was insane. Insane for GPUs. Go ahead and grab them, man. Don't always get so focused in. And then you get a 5080 that's 10% better. What did you? What have you waited all this time for, for 10% and you can't even get it right now? Totally, totally crazy right now. So I really sympathize. So those are your options right now. Basically, if you all you want is a 5090 and you're not willing to do stock checking, uh, services and things like that and keep finding drops, then it probably gonna be September-ish just based on our earlier projections in terms of MSRP. And that's not taking into account, of course, any kind of gap because of the Chinese Lunar New Year vacation period there. And if you're looking for more like a 5080, I said May, possibly June for MSRP. Again, not taking into account any disruptions. Of course, we do have the 5070 Ti coming February 20th, the February 20th. Now the launches are usually 9 a.m. Eastern time. Watch our beat, how to beat the bot series. I'm gonna give you as much of an advantage as I can out there against the bots, against other gamers, fortunately too. And then we do know that AMD likely has a large volume of stock, it seems like, already at retailers of the 9070 XT, which we expect March 23rd-ish. I know AMD will announce, of course, the pricing and the, the actual availability date as we get closer to it. So those are your options right now. Hopefully help is on the way, but at the same time, if all you want is a 5090, you might have to buckle up for a while. If you got value out of this video, please give it a like. It makes a huge difference to the channel, especially this guy right here who slept through the whole thing as usual. And of course, subscribe for more cool PC content. We will be doing our regular monthly GPU market update. It's just as I was doing comments today on the video, I saw so many of you like, oh my gosh, Jason, what do I do? I expected these to be able to get these things. So I wanted to put this video together pretty quickly. In the meantime, you can check out our recent Q&A. We're we'll talking about when is the RTX 5060 coming and the 5060 Ti. Check it out right here. We've got the latest information and we'll catch you on the next one.